right, and here we are, guys. The uh, it's official. We finally did it. We finally did it. Um, if you're not familiar with us, we are. Uh, welcome back to the channel. Get glitched. Um, yeah, which is pretty much a group of friends that like to talk about video games and anime and comic books. And finally, finally, after a long time of actually having the channel up and constantly talking about it and actually recruiting somebody for this specific section. We got the anime pit going on. Uh, it's pretty much just like our regular glitch pit where we mainly talk about video games, our podcast. This is the initial anime version of that where we choose a couple animes that we are all watching and we just keep track of it and have our personal discussions and reviews about it. So finally, guys, say something. Congratulations. I know, right? Hey, auntie. <laughs> what? <laughs> I wanted to do that during the introduction. That would have been hilarious. Just like, yeah, right. just like, it's me. But yeah, but uh, overall, <laughs> overall, we, um, pretty much us three. It's gonna be the um, darkness edition. <laughs> if you're not familiar, Let's go. Yo, if you're not if you're not familiar with the inside joke, darkness edition, just go back to uh, our what was it, freaking what three word? <laughs> God damn. Episode three yeah. of the glitch pit. Um, it's just it's me, I'm Mike. Um, I'm pretty much on everything on this damn channel. Uh, you got Big Black Rob, aka Big Yo. Chocolate, aka Sexy. That's and right. we got sexual, sexual chocolate. Sexual chocolate. Oh, and then fuck? we got uh the predator Shay, the one, the person I'm that we actually recruited. Anymore. I understand you're not a predator no more because you know you 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 chop the the locks, but you're still predator to us, brother. I'm black lightning now, guys. <laughs> Okay. Black I'm lightning. no longer static. I'm black lightning. Now. I'm black lightning. <laughs> black, black lightning. Well, we'll let you have that one. Exactly. Yeah. But um, pretty much this is. I, I guess this is gonna be the main three. I'm like it's gonna be me, Rob, and Shay. You know. So yeah. uh, we're gonna start off with uh, we want. I actually wanted to do this one by one with this uh the series, uh Megalo Box. Took me a lot of concentration to not. Fuck that up. <laughs> I've been saying Megalo blocks for like the longest. <laughs> I don't know. I, it, it caught me too the first couple of times I said it. Yeah, you know, it caught me like 8,000 times. <laughs> but yeah. Well, we're going to start off with this uh, this anime. Pretty much, yeah. I mean, episode. well, for our first episode, we're, gonna, we're basically, I mean, like we, we discussed, we was like, okay, so we're already three episodes into this anime. Are we going to, you know, separate it and discuss it three different times on three different videos? And we're like, you know what? Let's just knock this out the way. Uh, it's a good first impression. I would say three episodes in, you can kind of get an idea of how you feel about this anime. So I guess we just, for our first anime pit, we're going to just mash up all three of these episodes. And then afterwards, we'll make it a weekly consistent thing. So next week, obviously, we'll have our discussion on episode four and then five and then six and then so on, obviously. All the way up until, like, you, you said, know, the series finale. Well, you said, you know, after watching three episodes, you pretty much will make up your mind. I made up my mind after the first five minutes. <laughs> <laughs> I, don't know. I don't know about you, Shay. Nah, but... well, for me personally, I was waiting for this. I, I, I knew about it for a while, and I was just like, all right, I'm definitely watching this when it comes out. And I knew about the date and everything, and everyone kept asking about it. And, you know, it got low-key for a little while. People didn't remember it, and then it popped up again. And I'm like, oh, man, it's coming out soon. It was low-key for me. Like, I really did not know about this until I saw the trailer online. I think I think David actually shared it in the group, and I was like, what is this? So I watched it, and I was like, oh, I, I like that's that. When, that's, when I saw it, that's when I saw it as well. Once I saw the, the animation art style, I was like, hmm. And then they had, like, little clips of, like, the, uh, the soundtrack. Ah. Exactly. Yeah. Exactly. The sound the soundtrack, Shay. Yeah, um, I, I just want to give a big shout out to Komachi. Um, she really went in on that song. It's a little snippet. I don't even know what it's called. This doesn't really have a name, but it's, it's on episode no. two, right? That you hear it? Ep episode two, yeah. It's when they good. give you the uh, the backdrop of the the city. It's so good. It, it really is. Exactly. Now, um, talking about this specific anime, this is actually I. I ha I have no idea what this anime was about. Uh, obviously, well, it's about boxing, but um, <laughs> the the background to this anime, I would say, it's the um, 50th anniversary. They're releasing this because this is not based off, but it's kind of like I would say parallel to an uh a manga, a Shita no Jo, that was released in 1968, and it was um, written by Aso Takamori, and illustrated by Tatsuya Chiba. And I guess this is just a 
I, I, I don't know what to say. I don't want to get a incorrect, uh, more like um, a reimagining of that manga, I guess, if you want to call it that. A rework? I have to agree. I say rework. A re rework. Yeah, yeah, rework, pretty much. So let's yeah. let's get right let's get right into it let's, real quick. First impressions. Uh, first of all, one the art style is amazing. Excellent. It has that old school feel. It has that that champ blue, old that that bebop. Which I've been worried a lot. It gives you that you same know, feeling when you're that, watching that, it. You're like, yo. Yep. As definitely, soon as I thought, I was like, oh, this is like cowboy bebop. Like you said, champ blue. I, I even see like bits and pieces of like Trigun and stuff like that, just the way it is. Mm -hmm. And even though it's Trigun was, you know, brighter. <laughs> oh, oh, most overall, definitely. I was just like, I love it. Most definitely, most definitely. Um, um, right off the bat, like the first episode, it, 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 you really the main character. Um, he goes by Junkyard Dog. What is it, Junk Dog or something like that? Junk, junk, junk dog. Yeah, junk dog, dog, right? Yeah. The first episode pretty much just sets the stage of where this entire series is going to. Be exactly, he's just underdog. Lead into. He's an underdog. He he's obviously has some skill. Um, him and his partner, let's call him Pops. I forgot his actual name. It's it's said like twice, but the majority of the time they keep calling him Pops. Uh, basically, he's, he's, just, he's just Pops. Yeah, he's Pops. Um, they're a pair of just like uh, hustlers, basically. Pretty much, yep. you just go into a fight. They set it up, and you know, you set it up. And, yeah, he, he takes the fall. He, he takes the fall. But yeah, you know, just judging from the yeah, and he gets paid. But you know, based on the first episode alone, you can tell he's really tired of taking the fall. Exactly, he's just tired of it. Like he's he's a boxer. Like he's a he's a fighter. The uh, mega, and then they um they discuss around the tournament, the Megalonia, right? Megalomania. Megalomania, Megalom <laughs> something like that. Something like that. Megalonia. No, nah, Megalonia, my category. Ap first, Apollonia. Right? <laughs> Megalomania. <laughs> Apollonia. <laughs> the Mega Apollonia. Yeah, everything centered around that one big tournament. Obviously, he knows big bucks, stardom, fame, all that good stuff. Exactly. But, uh, yeah, but um, not... judging off his first fights, I can tell that, first of all, one cockiness level over, th over 9,000 with this kid. Oh, yeah. I mean, I mean he's definitely he's definitely that's part of boxing too, like you say. He's that's just how it is. You just you try to kinda of psych him out. Exactly. Like the the I mean, um the cockiness that he has it, Well of course. His skill level is ridiculous. That's just intense. Like I would say Not in the really. first episode the first, Yeah. Yeah, the continue. First episode the, showed what his skill level Yeah, it's the first episode showed his skill level, especially when he went up. He knew he was supposed to take a fall. But a part of him wanted to just end the fight in the first round, so exactly he like he he did a, that uppercut. A surprise move. Yeah, he stopped. And he did that. Uh, he did. Yeah, <laughs> and he stopped it at the last moment and said, "That's pretty much where the fight would have ended if I really was fighting." Yeah, but I you know, like, we know we got to get paid, and I got to take these, you know, these hits and stuff like that. I and know he's, he's paid, tired of that shit. Made, but he, but he would have made more just knocking him the hell out. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> but you know. Well, you gotta do what you gotta do, basically. Mm hmm You don't even really know who they are. I mean, is he the mob? I think he is because obviously, what's his name is uh, pops is very you know afraid of him. Well, yeah, I mean, like they have this, they have this understanding as if you saying, before, as pops was saying before, like, like he takes the fall, he gets mad, and then he just comes back because you know he got to make the money. Pretty much. But, you know, but episode one really set the stage. You know, it goes into, you know, after that particular fight, kind of goes on a, a little motorcycle ride through the night. Speaking, speaking rain, of, of course. It, it's funny. It's funny that you bring up motorcycle ride. How many, throughout all three of these episodes, how many times he's going to fuck up this motorcycle? Like, I feel like he keeps um, falling. He keeps crashing. <laughs> I mean, using it as a lot. In, in, in the latest episode, he threw the bitch. <laughs> Where? He threw it through the goddamn window. window man. That's crazy, through a window. Man. So you better put I that mean, motherfucker on a wall when he's ready, man. That did a lot for him. Word, <laughs> pretty much. But let's talk about but, the. Um... Oh, I'm sorry, I cut you off. Good. Yeah, no, nah, but you know, like he's in the first episode, pretty much after that whole beginning fight scene, where he throws a fight. You know, he goes on his little ride and he's having his little reminiscent moments of you know what he really wants and what he should be doing. And you know, 
he, he pretty much crashes his bike. Well, he, <laughs> almost, he almost he, he, he almost runs he almost, over. <laughs> I forgot her name. She like runs. She's running the tournament or something like that, right? Yeah. Let me see. And you know, from there, that's when you you meet the the, the main. Well, after the main. <laughs> My man Yuri. Villain. <laughs> Yeah, Yuri is. I I, 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 wanna, I don't want to say villain, but um, no. yeah, uh, yeah, he's definitely not a villain. No, but um, that's when you first meet him, and then that really set the stage because, you know, as we already see, Jump Dog don't really care who he's talking to. He'll talk to whoever he's got to talk to, however he wants. Sure. And then, and of course, you know, he got that Goku and mentality that. going on. Uh, he's going to fight yeah. whoever the hell he wants. <laughs> yeah, pretty much. So he, he kind of rubbed Yuri the wrong way and set everything in motion at that point. Yeah. Uh, the... Yuki, Yukiko got him trained, though, man. That's her name, by the way. Yeah, her name is Yukiko. And he got him. He got that's him basically. Like, Listen, man, what are you doing? That's his, that's that's her <laughs> bitch. Like, Yuri is her bitch. Like, when it, when no it comes down to it. Otherwise. I mean, well, yeah, you, can, you, can, you can put it that way. You could just put it to the point where he's like, that. Like, he calls, a, he, her, he calls her owner. <laughs> Yuri, Yuri is her property. Like, they are really investing into this man, like into his body. You could tell by his gear, like the way he, the like way he looks and everything. Integrated like, into him, yeah, yeah exactly. Like he's a giant experiment, to be honest. But let's talk about this, like this confrontation on the road after he almost crashes with Yuri, and he's just basically like, uh, Yuri sees that he has boxing equipment, and you know he's like, oh, who are you? And he's like, oh, let's, you, you want to show me like real um, megalo boxing? And Yuri's like, I well, bet. <laughs> the, 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 the real static between them started because she offered to pay yeah. for the damages to his bike. So she handed him the car and <laughs> Junk Dog just straight bitch slapped that guy in. Yeah. So Yo, I've like, never seen a more dramatic. Right. <laughs> i never seen a more dramatic slap a card out somebody's hand before in my life. It's like, it was like, pow. And, <sighs> and it, was at, it was at that moment that Yuri was pretty much like, you're going to apologize, sir. And Junk Dog was just like, Nah. <laughs> Word. There's no other way to put it, but he's just like, nah. So that's really where it started. And then they pretty much, you know, Yuri takes off his stuff. He's, he's they're ready to box. Word. Like just right then and there. That's like, let's right, go. Right then and there. <laughs> yep. It and I was just like, and I was like, oh man, this is Yo, a great you know what's funny? the first episode. Word. You know what's funny? It is funny that you say that. Like, when that happened, like everything, like oh, the, the music got intense and everything like that, and I was like, "Oh shit, what the fuck?" And then, it, and then he stepped forward, and then he stopped, and Yukio was like, "Yeah." And it's, yeah, and then the <laughs> and then the owner goes, "Yuri, let's go." I was like, "Ah, word." But then I was like, "Oh, that's a good way to start a uh, rivalry." That was a good way to start a rivalry. That's where you can see where things were kind of going, but you really saw it at the end of the first episode where obviously Jump oh. Yard's gonna do his I mean thing again. <laughs> Oh yeah, definitely. He's, uh, he's gonna throw. He's gonna throw his fight, and then he kind of changed up, and then Yuri popped up in the last up at the end of the first episode, and I was like, "Oh man, where I saw that shit, and I was like, "Oh man," and then they 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 they, they pretty they much it. yeah they 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 squared up, and then they cut it, and I was like, you know what? If if we would have did this, like the first instead of watching all three episodes at one time, like because I just binged all three literally twenty minutes before we started this. I would have been tight. I would have been like, oh, shit. Nah, I got to wait. But that's how it's going to be for the next couple of weeks when we do this. Pretty much. And then, you know, we can move right into the second episode. Starts off where we, you know, where, where we left off. off. Um, yeah, where, yeah. Well, of course, when, the they, yeah, when this first episode started, I was thinking to myself, I was like, you know what? I, I, I don't want to be predicting things, but I was like, you know, Junk Dog or Joe, however you want to call him. I was like, yo, he's going to get his ass whooped. Like, Yuri's going to whoop that ass. But, su not surprisingly, but how can I explain this? Junk Dog, for the gear that he has, also, there's another thing. They keep saying that his gear is a piece of shit. Like, they, <laughs> like, it's just the bottom of the fucking barrel. But this, he has skill because in that initial first bout. He's a real boxer. Yeah, in that initial first real, bout, he boxer. caught, he's yeah, he boxer, caught yeah. Yuri off, not off guard, but. He surprised them. Well, well, in in the battle as they started, you know, Yuri pretty much says, I, I, "I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna use my right hand. I'll do this one handed." I was like, "Oh, you cocky motherfucker!" I think at that <laughs> at that point, Joe was like, "Listen, I'm gonna force him to use his his left hand." It was his left hand. I think. 
And that's he's exactly like, no, what happened. Force him to do it. Yeah. And, and he did. And then he's and he like, did. all right, for a son, I, I can't. Now I'm going to fuck you up now. Like, he was like, and, he, that's it. I don't. and then he came down. He came down with the ill fucking Heaven's Gate punch from the sky, like, right across your shit. Said, oh, man. But then he the got fight, up, I know though. for a fact the fights are going to be crazy in this. Yeah, the, the fights are going to be an amazing. I, I, I'm already excited for it. I'm, I'm, I'm ready. I'm, I'm ready for those full episode fights. I'm sitting here the entire the entire episode. Just you know, yeah. people thinking in their head, commentary, fists flying all over the place. I'm I'm ready. Oh yeah, ready. the classic I'm, the, I'm the classic ready. anime fights. You know, it's just one entire episode is gonna be you know one round. <laughs> but yeah, yeah I'm much... three three episodes. I'm with it. Three episodes. <laughs> <laughs> One fight. Three episodes. I'm with it. Straight Dragon Ball Super status. Every episode yep. is ten seconds. <laughs> <laughs> oh man! But you know, the second episode pretty much set the the tone of where they want the show to go. Obviously, now it's that, that rivalry. You know, it's that build. It, it's it, it set the rivalry for the final match. Exactly between between Joe and Yuri. So it's obviously. The thing is, too, if uh, jumping into episode three, their the relationship they have there now, you can tell is that it's, it's, it's really is a rivalry. Like they're trying to make each other yeah. better, not trying, but they are going to make each other better. Well, initially, they like I said, Yuri, exactly. you know, they fought. Yuri whooped his ass, and you know, Junk Dog, uh, he showed his line. He's like, "Yo, I'm not done. Let's let's go. Like, I want to fight you again." And Yuri's like, "Yo, I already beat you once. If you want to fight me again." Now you got it. Now you yeah, got a mega, mega word. One, yeah. He was like, now you got to build your way to me. Like you know, like what I just gave you was a freebie. Is basically what he was saying. Yeah, he was like, we're just pretty much finishing what we started on the bridge. Exactly. You can imagine how much strong he's gonna. Yo, this, this is gonna be ridiculous. I mean, they, they take Yuri, for instance. You see, they have the, the whole scene where he's sitting there. And he's training. He's training. Whatever, he, he, super yeah. advanced. Super advanced machinery. I mean, it yeah, tracks man, down how many like times you get arms. hit. <laughs> it, yeah, it tracks how many times you get hit, how many times you landed a hit, and if you land a knockout or not, and how long it took you to to land that knockout punch. I exactly. Said, what? And then he finished, and just as you see him walking away, he starts he to remember what he, 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 he hit. He, he hears Joe in his head, what last thing what he said. You know, this is not real uh, Megalo boxing. And sure enough, he turned right back around. More training. They're gonna make each other better. So when that fight happens, it's gonna be oh my goodness, it's intense. going to be ridiculous. I can already see. I can see the people in the crowds, all the main characters, all the supporting characters in the crowds, mouths gaping, all types of crazy looking at them fight. It's gonna be, it's gonna be, like, it's gonna be, it's gonna be it's gonna be like the classic like scenes where he he goes for the right jab, he dodges it. He, like they're dodging each other's stuff, constant pauses, reading each other's moves. Inner monologues and shit. I can't wait. <laughs> now, now, <laughs> j- jump, jumping into episode three, am I, was I the only one excited when they kind of did the the quick pan and you see the actual prototype of the uh, the gear? Oh yeah, I was excited. I was like, "What? You need to get your hands on that right there. And you, that's it. You're good." Where? Because where they was? It was initially in that. They was initially in that <laughs> shop. It's basically a pawn shop, right? Yeah, it's a pawn not, shop, a, not, 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 a, not a porn shop, Mike. A pawn shop. I said pawn, <laughs> porn, no. pawn, porn. Not the same. Pawn stars. <laughs> it's not. But, um, <laughs> no. <laughs> I mean, like, they, they, but yeah, they're boxing. But, you know, he's beating it up. You know. I mean, I'm just. You know what? We're gonna continue. Oh yeah, my god. Let's 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 get back on track. <laughs> Cringy but, um, puns. <laughs> Exactly. But, you know, I got excited when I saw the gear. I was like, oh, man, if he gets his hands on that, it's, like, nice and sleek. He'll actually kind of resemble, you know, Yuri, and it might give him a, a good edge. And then as the episode went on... Well, we get introduced by <laughs> these, these ragtag group of kids. Rag- I want to I I talk about that for a second. That red candy... All right. First of all, we have no idea how old these kids are. They're, they're probably like they 10, look, 11, 12. No, no they eight. look between, yeah, like between 8 and maybe 10. What? All right. The main, the main, the, the leader, Sachio, the one like, that you can tell he has some skill when it comes to like uh, machinery and stuff like Mechanics, that. Yeah. He's, he's obviously, he's I would say, machine. the oldest. Yeah, but probably. then, um. Probably. 
Yeah, and um, what was I going to say? Oh, you was going to say something about the candy. What, what happened with the candy? Basically, it's drugs, um, which we find out. Uh, I don't know what it's infused with. Probably marijuana. I don't know. But <laughs> apparently, these kids, is all they're all hooked on these drugs. And it's probably because they're in, you know, the location that they are, uh, where they're living and everything. Like really? I just, for the record, like, hey, that, shit, that shit went over my fucking head. <laughs> yeah, he I mentions it. When I mean, like, you just put everything together, you know. It, it kind of just makes sense. It's like, you know, all these kids are in this area because, it's like, they have nowhere to go. And they yeah. stay there because of what's there. And, like, you know, you get help, you know, drug exactly. addicts. Oh, I'm, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. We completely skipped the whole, uh, whole not, like, plot point. Um, basically, aside from him getting his ass whipped by Yuri, why he's going into, uh, the, was it the Mega Thena? Megalonia. <laughs> Megalonia. Apollonia. Okay. Um, <laughs> because basically he's just like, you know, I want to join it. And then Pops is like, listen, this is not what we do. This is not who we are. We don't even have fucking citizenship. We don't even have names. Like, we can't sign up for this. So let's just stick to what we know. You keep throwing matches and we keep making money. Like, why can't we just keep doing that? And, Joe is basically like, nah, fuck that shit. So the next match, he basically doesn't even like square up. He walks up to the dude, walks up to the guy, and straight up mm -hmm. bodies him. It's one punch, bow, the set, and then Make and it? then looked, yo, and then looked at pops like, yeah, I did that. Now in his, in his face, and was like, <laughs> give me a real match. <laughs> and then um. Yeah, we and then we kind of get introduced to I would say I guess the loan shark of the series, uh, Fujimaki, the person I guess in charge of that whole uh, underground boxing uh, thing. And so Pops is basically, and and then when Fujimaki it was like a scene out of like a fucking triad movie, Fujimaki is making some type of type of dish. Pops is like begging for his fucking life, and you just hear in the background somebody getting completely I don't know what's going on. <laughs> Master <laughs> messed up boy, they out there getting <laughs> slapped. That's what happened. And Fujimaki is just as calm touched. and collected. He's cooking. He's like, you know, it's just it, it basically, you know what that scene remind me of? Like, you know how in most cooking scenes where like the person's cooking and they're like slowly like making their dish and there's some type of music in the background. Fujimaki's music is <laughs> the jelly. suffering of somebody <laughs> else. <laughs> that's ridiculous. Uh, yeah, that's crazy. So Pops is basically yeah. like, listen, we I could pay you back. Uh, he wants to fight in Megalonia, and he's gonna win, and this is how we're gonna pay you back. So Fujimaki is like, I right, bet, cause you know loan sharks, they don't give a fuck. They just they care about their bread. So he was like, all right, I'll help you guys. I'll give you guys citizenship. This is where you know. You ever think about that? What? Why do loan sharks loan money if they really don't want to loan their money? Like I don't, I don't get it. It's basically because having people in your know... pocket. That's pretty much what it this is. It's all control. It's like, like if I lend you five thousand dollars, Shay, and don't. I tell you you got, and, and I tell you you got three weeks to pay me back. I'm not are you gonna, that. are you, are you gonna pay me back in three weeks? I mean, I don't. I mean, if I had to borrow that much money in the first place, there's probably no way I could have. Well, paid you think back about it this way: with loan sharks, like loan sharks, they always, they always have dirty shit to do, but they don't want to get their hands dirty, right? So, of for course. example, you, like Shay, I tell you, okay, you. You're gonna put up five grand, blah blah blah. You fuck up. You don't have you don't have the money. All right, bet you don't have the money. All right, you know what? We can make our deal square. You need to do this: rob a bank, kill somebody. You understand know what I'm saying? Like, there's always something for something. You know? Why can't these people just become chefs or like teachers or something? Why do you have to become a loan? Like, come on, man. Like, I don't want to. Like, come on. Cause they ain't got time to be waiting for that check week by week, son. What? Have, have you seen the city? It's very run down. I don't think people have the ability to be what they want to be. Word. Yeah, I guess like just like real life to the red candy. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. <laughs> but yeah, that's initially it. That's how he gets in, and I love the fact that he's ranked 257 out of 257. Oh, yeah. Like, but, but, but we all know we can predict that he's going to just blaze through that uh those rankings. Then we had that shocking revelation of pops and. Him not actually being from there at all. He's he's a well known trainer, apparently. Apparently so. Well, he's, uh, he was kind of pretty much uh hiding himself in that building. Mm -hmm. he, was avoiding, to, anyway. he, he was avoiding everything. Shoot. I don't know. Maybe Pops is just 
the older version of the main character from the manga back in the 60s. Who knows? I don't know. <laughs> I'm like, if they really want to go there, who knows? Who, who knows? Because that's the that's the, char- the character's name is Joe also from that. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah, his name is uh, Champion Joe or Rocky Joe or just Joe. I, I did. I didn't really get all the way into the like the old manga. I just just read enough just to say certain things on this. Yeah, that's pretty. Much it. <laughs> <laughs> but then, uh, where, where we go to now? Um, uh, yeah, initially, you know, we, the kid, the the ragtag group of kids. Yeah, the ragtag group of kids. I let, let you know that 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 kid. He he's like a boxing genius. I don't know what to tell you. I mean, like a boxing genius, a tech genius. Like he knows he's, his he's, shit. He, I, I feel like he's, he's more he, of a tech he's, genius I, than a boxing I, genius. I, well, I, yeah, yeah. I he's definitely a tech that. genius. He's he's like a hacker. He's he's all these different things, but he's not. I mean, if it, if I feel like if it wasn't for the machinery in Megalobox, he probably wouldn't have been. He wouldn't have been able to pull his worth. Yeah, I mean, like his his big thing is that he he sees that uh, Joe and um, Pops they're training for the. Megalonia and he wants in so he's like you know just take me with you and <laughs> Joe Joe is like nah fuck out of here cause you know he got that cockiness all, all about himself ordeal going on but um fast forward to the kids he's trying to steal the prototype that was in that um the porn shop and uh <laughs> he gets oh caught God, he gets caught you got the birdie you got the birdie reject body uh, bodyguard up in that bitch and they're, they, you know, they're they're beating up the kid. They, they're rough. They're, they're roughing yeah. them up. Yeah, but um, Joe's like, nah, <laughs> chill. He breaks his motorcycle again. He flung. He flung. Throws his entire the motorcycle game. through a Dude, window yeah. at a person. Yeah. Um, like, and how and how the person didn't get knocked out is beyond my. I mean, me. I you, don't see, know. you saw the size of that guy. That guy could have fucking flung that motorcycle at somebody himself. Exactly. God. Okay. And then um, yeah, with his yeah, junk he's... truck, junk. <laughs> Let's talk about this. Like, Those like garbage truck pot boxing gloves. Wait, so he ha- he has the new he has a new gear on, and I'm like, oh shit! I I bet he got the gear I on, got, right? I got I got excited. I was real happy to see where it was going. Where? And then the and shit fucking he, broke apart. He throws what he throws one punch and the arm shatters, and I said, what? Hey man, it was a prototype. Well, it, not only was it a prototype, but like just like you know, the Brady reject said, he was like, "Yo, I don't wear boxing gloves. Like this is metal against metal. I'm breaking your shit." Also true. So, very, very, very true. I'm but that take. did not matter because Joe, even though he got, he didn't have the gear. Like, it, like it just proves it that is, it's not the man. It's, it's not the machine. It's the man. That's right. And that's where I go into my theory on how Joe and Yuri's fight's gonna end up. I see it end up where Joe's gonna end up just boxing him straight up. No gear. No gear. I can see. I that. mean, he's, he's, gonna gonna start, he's, gonna, he's gonna start. He's gonna start the fight with a gear. Obviously. Yeah, that's how the start. Somewhere during the line. Yeah, everybody's stuff is gonna start I, I, shutting I can, down. I can. I can see that his gear is gonna malfunction on him or something, or Yuri's just gonna pretty much just mess him up, and it got to the, it's gonna get to the point where he's gonna go gearless and fight him straight up boxing i can totally see that happening i can definitely see I would, that happening. i would hate for that to happen to be honest because, really like that's just not it, it makes sense story-wise but at the same time i feel like it's just completely unfair like it's just that's just messed up like it's just unfair. Like, it's just a losing battle like i don't he's like you're not gonna like come on, <laughs> come on. like come on <laughs> <laughs> I mean, no matter how I look at it, even even when he gets to fight year, he because I can see this being a long series. Uh, like, I believe it's this, thirteen you... episodes. Oh, damn. Is yeah. Thir- first season. Yeah, I believe it's thirteen. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Just uh, shot my hopes down. I thought it was gonna be just like you know, hey, it's cool, it's all right. I'll cry later. <laughs> but um, not cry now. Honestly, no, no, no. no, no, no we, I. I, 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 I Listen, I cry privately, okay? Um, but yeah, I, when it comes down to their fight, I can honestly see Joe still losing. Oh, yeah, definitely. I can see it. And then that opens unless, up just season two. Unless, <laughs> unless all the fights that he gets until then gives him give you know, a little improvements here and there on some Kanichi type stuff. You feel me? That's, that's what true. I feel like. Yeah. True. Like, you know, he'll win a fight, but it'll be tough for him, and he'll learn something new. Like, the first guy he's going to end up fighting, that guy is, well, he was dead last. Now he's no longer, thanks to Joe. 
But, you know, they say 70% of the time he's whooping people's ass. <laughs> yeah. I mean, he's got a terrible loss record, but it's just the way he fights. It makes it very difficult for people to win against him. Well, so, I, like, I, I, know, like, I, know, I know what that guy's weakness is. He's definitely one of those people that like to go in all the time. He's just going to fucking let him tie himself out and then just... Well, that's what, that's what, um, well, yeah, uh, potentially what Pop said, but oh, are we talking about Joe or are we talking about Yuri? Not talking about Yuri, are talking about the guy he has, uh, uh, the first guy what's the guy's name? Oh, Matt? yeah, the shark. Shark? Shark, the yeah. shark yeah. The guy, right? Yeah. But, um, I, I, going back to that fight between Joe and, you know, Birdie Reject, when <laughs> Pops was like, listen, you, you're so used to being on the offense, you forget, you know, your guard. Like, he, such an offense fighter. That's why he was able to, like, you know, fuck his shit up because he was, you know, wasn't paying attention. He could have got him multiple times. Well, actually, no, that, it wasn't during that fight. It was during the, the, it was the training. The training. Yeah, I'm sorry. Well, during the training, he told him there are certain parts where you counter when you don't need to counter. And that's where you leave yourself open. Exactly. But initially. And, and, and Pops was busting him up with a ragtag training gear. <laughs> Word. Like it, was like, it was like, it was like very run down and he was. He's busting him up. <laughs> I was like, "Wow, Pop, you like I think you knew Pop had some skill." Exactly, but um, so far I see this story. I mean, like I can't wait to see more rivalry between um, uh, Joe and Yuri. Um, Pop's background, the kids' background, like everybody, everything's flowing really nicely. I like the way the direction is going. Um, like you, Shay, the music is amazing. The artwork is yes. just a nod to Cowboy Bebop and all those old animes where, like we grew up watching and stuff like that. So I really can't wait to see what more this this series is going to offer. Oh, I can't wait. Is it is it next Thursday yet? I don't know. <laughs> Unfortunately, no. It's no. Not. Okay. But um, yeah, that's pretty much it. We're gonna wrap it up there. Um, this is guys, it's our first wow. official anime podcast. I, I I can't believe it. It's finally it happened. Listen. I tell everybody that they need to go out and they need to watch it, whether it be on Crunchyroll. I'm pretty sure it's on VRV. Um, it's probably on YouTube. Like somebody probably already uploaded no, YouTube it somewhere. Definitely gonna have it. Um, definitely go out and go watch this. This is this is amazing. But um, yeah, um, first three episodes, first impressions. It's just this is gonna be a good one. Um, mm -hmm. like I said, we're going to continue this weekly. Each episode, we're just going to sit down, have a discussion. This obviously was the longest one because we had three episodes to cover. I don't think these are going to be too long. These reviews or discussions, I would say no. maybe ten to fifteen minutes. Five ten minutes, yeah. exactly. Um, and so that's pretty much it. Uh, if you guys can please like, comment, subscribe to our page. Um, if you're listening to us on um SoundCloud, just uh. Follow us there, and then, you know, we are a gaming channel, so we stream as much as we can. Follow us on Twitch at Get Glitched, YouTube, Get Glitched, Twitter at Get Glitched, and follow us on our Instagram and our Facebook. So, uh, I'm Mike. I'm Rob. I'm Shay. And uh, that's pretty much it, and we are out. Thank you for watching, listening, caring, all that goodness. Bye. Bye. Later. <laughs>